Hello folks. With all their product reviews and tech channels spotlighting the latest cameras, it's easy to get hung up on the latest and greatest and forget that the last gen models were the latest and greatest only a short time ago. But there are sometimes good deals out there on the old models. The fact is, many of the outgoing versions would work perfectly well for lots of people. I've previously reviewed a couple of cheap, generic brand camcorders and found them to be very poor performers and poor value. And since then, I've had questions asking for recommendations for a cheap camera for YouTube. I'll be talking mostly about the first generation Canon M6 in this video, but I realize that this camera is likely discontinued and may soon be unavailable. I also don't want to imply that this is the universally recommended or best value camera for everyone. This is simply an example of a last gen product that is currently available at a good price. I don't intend for this to be an in-depth review of the Canon M6, I just want to demonstrate that sometimes a slightly older product can still be good enough if you're on a tight budget. The Canon M6 is currently available for $300 as a body only, and for $350 with an image stabilized 15 to 45 millimeter kit lens. That's the same price as many small sensor point and shoot cameras, and this APS-C sensor camera will dominate them in terms of image quality. Still, $350 isn't exactly super cheap, so whether or not this particular camera appeals to you will depend on your budget and what you're looking for in a camera. But regardless of your budget, outgoing models can often represent a bargain. As for the M6, it wasn't quite industry leading in terms of video features, uh, even when it was released. So now that it's been replaced by a newer model, it's unsurprisingly lacking some features that are expected on the latest cameras in its class. The M6 doesn't record 4K video, and it doesn't have a flat profile for professional grading, and it's missing a few other high-end video features. The M6 can record in 24, 30, or 60 frames per second at 1080p. And for YouTube, 1080p is fine most of the time. And even though the latest high bitrate, high resolution video codecs get all the talk, the small 1080p files from this camera don't take up a lot of storage space, and they're quick and easy to edit on modest computer hardware. The M6 does have Canon's dual pixel autofocus, it has a microphone input jack, a shoe mount, and a flip up screen that can be viewed from in front of the camera. A microphone on the shoe mount will partially block the screen, but there are ways around that. So while it's clearly not the best camera out there for video, it is pretty capable for the money. In terms of photography, the M6 has similar image quality to most of Canon's current APS-C cameras, so it's no slouch for photos. It has lots of convenient controls, multiple adjustment dials, uh, including one specifically for uh, dedicated control of exposure compensation, and it's got a touchscreen that is responsive and easy to use. It doesn't have a built-in electronic viewfinder, but it is otherwise a very handy and capable camera for photography. And there is an add-on optional electronic viewfinder if you need one. Speaking of no built-in electronic viewfinder, this camera is super compact. It is barely larger than a lot of point-and-shoot cameras, but it will dominate those in terms of image quality, particularly in low light. And the image quality is also a step above the best one-inch censored point-and-shoot cameras uh, when you get to higher ISOs. The small size does mean that the grip is small and not as comfortable for me as one on a larger DSLR, but for its size, the grip is pretty good, and it is better than I thought it would be. Again, I don't really intend for this to be an in-depth review of the M6. The M6 is simply the deal of the moment, in my opinion, uh, even if it isn't for everyone. The main point is that if you have a tight budget, it might be worth keeping an eye out for a deal on a last-gen camera. This won't apply to everyone for every situation, and there might not always be worthwhile deals available. But I think that the M6 is a good value right now, and eventually there will be some other gadget that is being phased out in favor of the newest shiny. So maybe you can justify the newest shiny and that's great. But if not, take a look at the old and dull. Eventually you may find a price that puts an attractive sheen on the otherwise dull.